Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. I took this big tree down about two weeks ago and there's still a ton of work left to do to get this chopped up and into pieces the size that I can haul. I'm gonna take all this back to my property for firewood. So today, we're just working on limbing some of the bigger branches, separating it between a brush pile and the parts that can be used for firewood. And then we're gonna have to come back and spend a whole nother day working on this. If you look, the main trunk is still four or five feet off the ground because it's got these big supports right here. And I had been chopping those supports a little bit at a time. I was notching them and then hooking a strap to them and pulling them over. I can't do that now because I can't even get back there. So I'm gonna have to clear all this debris out of the way to see what's left and see what I need to do with the main chunk. But we've got a couple hours to work on it tonight. So let's see what we can get done. When I first started clearing brush with the grapple, I just threw it all into a pile randomly, you know, however it worked out. And like this stuff was already shoved over here with the grapple as I was ripping it off the tree. But what you find out pretty quickly is that the grapple actually kind of struggles to move a pile that's not stacked neatly. If you turn all the branches the same way, they don't even have to be neat, like I said, but if they're turned the same way, then you can pick up a huge amount of material and carry it. If they're crisscrossed, then you can't get a good grip on branches running the alternate direction, and you end up dragging it, then it'll snag and pull out of your pile, and then you've just scattered it across the yard. So, I find that the best solution is when you initially cut the brush off the tree, pile it in all in the same direction. But if you can't do that, then you kind of need to go back through like we are right now and make some strategic cuts to let your pile be more in line.
this is a case of what I was talking about earlier. On the second pile we worked out here, I just went in and grabbed it. You can see I'm snagged and I'm dragging. If I tried to turn around and go forward, all that would start slowly ripping out and dislodging as I drove. And it just doesn't work very well. So we stopped here and cut some limbs loose. I can say that the double grapple does a heck of a lot better job than the single grapple at these brush piles or uneven loads. I've been really pleased with making that upgrade. This is the second job of the day, so I hate to show up and not get the whole thing done, but this probably is about an eight or 10 hour day with two people really staying at it. And I just didn't have that kind of time today. I slid right into this pile. I could have just closed the grapple, picked it up and went, but I'm so used to pushing the pile forward, then tilting up above it, closing and getting a better grip that way, but really didn't have to do that on this one. Well, we've probably got another 30, 40 minutes that we can work before it's completely dark out here. But it's about as far as I think we can go with the camera. So we've got these logs right here that are going to go with us for firewood. We've got a big brush pile back there. Making a little dent in it today. But there's a tremendous amount of work left to do. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.